Hi, it's Valerie D'Ambrosio. Today I wanted to speak about how we become addicted to the how in life. Essentially, it's the trying to figure everything out. And the way that I think about that, it's a very left brain way of thinking, is where we really try to logically create solutions for everything in our lives. So I was recently having a conversation with a client who was feeling really stuck in a certain area, and his answer was, well, I'll just go to more trainings, I'll just go to more seminars, I'll just keep doing and doing and doing more. And so once I started to ask him some questions to help him peel back layers of the ways in which he was showing up in the world, recognizing that in a certain way of being consistently, excessively, that he was suffering. And so once I started to ask those questions, he looked at this aspect of him that has been basically learning, it's learned to survive, is that the more he achieves in life, the more love he feels. The thing is, though, is that it was, like I said, causing him suffering, and he kept getting to the same place of feeling that he wasn't doing enough. And so once this light bulb went off on him, he instantly went to me, but how do I do it? And how do I do it? And how to do it? And of course, that left brain, that part of him, that logical part of him, wanted to figure out a solution. He wanted to understand the how. So I started to point out to him that the, the, the way in which he wanted to solve this was the way in which he's been operating his whole life and was the exact thing that was helping him or making him feel stuck. So basically what it was an invitation for, from my perspective, was to invite more of the right brain, the feeling things out, the nonlinear, the spaciousness to really help him to see that maybe it's not about him just figuring it out. Because when we're just trying to figure out from this thing, from this brain, we're so limited from the unlimited possibilities that are available to us in all moments. So when we create that spaciousness, when we remember and we ask ourselves questions like, well, what if I wasn't in charge of the how? What if I just set out intention and I showed up in my own way and I met it so much and maybe I created space and time to assimilate the information that was coming in, space and time to allow some other guidance to come in me and through me or for other people or things to show up on my life recognizing maybe I don't have to do it on my own. So for a lot of people this feels a little scary. For a lot of people they feel like they need to be doing in order to achieve success. And I understand that because that's given you success on a lot of levels and helps you to see a, a sense of survival. That said though, if you really look at your life, it also is that idea that there's always something to improve. There's always something to be better at. In the, in the sense of having to always achieve, that means that where you are is never enough. And that can be really, really challenging at times. So maybe just sit with how addicted you can be at the times of wanting to know the how. Maybe asking yourself some different quality questions that what if there was some greater support um, at this moment co-creating my life for me? What if I'm not in charge of the how? And just see what comes up for you and then practicing inviting some space to assimilate anything that comes to you or through you so you can be open to maybe something that you never thought about. If you feel stuck around this, it makes sense. We've been so habitually patterned and so many of us in the world are doers, right? So feel free to reach out for some coaching or to find out the different things that we have going on at vdacoaching.com. We always look forward to hearing from you and as always, expect great things in life.